Hello um, and welcome to the Royal College of Surgeons of Edinburgh's New Year message. My name is Professor Michael Griffin and I'm President of the College. Well, 2020 has been a very difficult year for so many of us. We as a college, I am immensely proud of all of our members and fellows whose lives have been so disrupted during the course of the coronavirus outbreak. Working in difficult circumstances, redeployed to areas that are unfamiliar, our members and fellows have done so well to care for the needy. Our hearts, my heart goes out to all of those families who have lost loved ones during the course of this terrible time. We hope and trust that next year will bring health and happiness. Our college has done everything in its power to bring education into your homes during the course of this time. The web series of webinars that we have run have deliberately uh, focused on how training of our trainees can be continued and how the pandemic has affected all of the countries throughout the world where our members and fellows practice. We have also tried to lobby governments and politicians to make sure that they have done the right thing and have made the right decisions. All of this has been a difficult time for them and for us in attempting to do the right thing. So 2021 we really hope and trust will be happier and healthier and we look forward to meeting all of our college family again in person all over the world and in Edinburgh at the home of our college uh, in 2021 and the years that come. We really look forward to seeing you all again and I wish you the happiest and healthiest of New Year's. I echo what Mike has said and reiterate my thanks to all those who have had to face this virus head on to deliver the very best patient care. It has disrupted every aspect of life and has impacted on those at every stage of our profession. I have been in particular awe at our trainees who have had to work through challenging and changing circumstances been redeployed into new clinical environments and having aspects of their training disrupted. As a college, we have aimed to support them by making sure that we could hold webinars and as many of our educational courses as possible. We have also been involved in adapting intercollegiate and our own college examinations. There's no doubt that this crisis has forced us into the new use of technology and I'm sure that this will remain with us as we move forward. However, there's nothing that replaces the feeling of being part of a bigger family that can meet face to face. In 2021, we will be making plans to hold our rescheduled triennial conference so that we can look forward to sharing ideas, to hearing about best practice, and to networking with our fellow clinicians from all around the world. I wish you the very best for 2021. A very happy new year. Mike and Ron are right. This has been a roller coaster of a year. Our college is home to over 15,000 international surgeons and dental surgeons. As vice president in charge of international affairs, we had to innovate to deliver courses, webinars, conferences, and examinations. The technology has been amazing, and most of these events were seamless. I have learned so much in such a short space of time. I have run webinars with our international partners and fellows across the world and it was fascinating to learn how they have responded to the changes in their own countries. We learned a lot from each other's experience. 
the international surgical ambassadors have been actively contributing to but you will agree with me that personal contact cannot be replaced by virtual platforms therefore we look forward to seeing you all in the first international conference to be conducted by the Royal College of Surgeons of Edinburgh in Chennai, India in March 2022. Edinburgh is ultimately home to our affiliate, members and fellows. The seat of learning for over 500 years. We look forward to your coming home this year. Until then, stay safe. Thank you. Oh
Kalyan Subramaniam, my class fellow from Madras Medical College, Chennai, for this arrangement of Caledonia, with his musical family who are spread across the world, and his friend Mohammad Alawadi of MR Productions, Bahrain. Thank you. <laughs> 